Greetings to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Bishop Makram Max Gassis of El Obeid Diocese, which comprises Central Sudan, Western Sudan, and parts of Southern Sudan, where the people have suffered much and died for their faith and for their ethnicity. Today in Sudan, there are nearly six million Christians. Most of them are Catholics. And every day they struggle to overcome religious discrimination by a government that wants Sudan to be an Islamic Arab state ruled by Islamic Sharia law. Some of us are on the front lines. Others are on the back lines. We need each other to bring the message of Christ to the world, a message of justice, love, and peace. Christians in Sudan are a poor and vulnerable people. The North has waged a 21-year civil war. This war left more than 2 million people dead, and 5 million were driven from their villages into the bush and into camps across the border. For two decades, Arab militias raped our women and girls and enslaved our children. Entire families were brutally killed and displaced. Schools, churches, villages burnt, bombed, and destroyed. Through all this horror, the church remained with the people. In fact, the church is the hope of peoples. We did what we could to provide refuge, clean water, food, and save lives. Against all odds, we continued to celebrate the Mass in bombed out churches or under trees. In 2005, a comprehensive peace agreement was signed between the South and the North. The bombing and the killing stopped, but the peace was a weak peace. And now, five years later, the peace is very fragile. There still are no roads here, no electricity, no running water, food shortages, little or no access to medical care. The children need education and formation. Churches need to be rebuilt and catechists and teachers trained and formed. Next January 2011, the Christians, Muslims and animists of South Sudan will hold a vote to determine their autonomy from the Arab Islamic North. And so tension and anxiety are building. Many anticipate the day when the South will vote to separate from the North and form a separate and new country. Others predict a return to the days of genocide and war. We see the Sudan People's Liberation Army and the government of Khartoum arming themselves. All it will take is one single shot to explode and we will go back to the bush where many people fled during the country's 21 years of civil war. We are in the hands of God. We ask God to save us from the breaking down and going back to the gun. The gun will not solve the problem. The gun can never bring justice and peace. We do not know what the solution will be, but we keep on praying and we ask God's our Father to be with us 
we are his children. We do not know what the future will be, but we keep on working to improve the lives of our people and strengthen them in the faith and try to heal their wounds. With the financial assistance and prayers of my Sudan Relief Fund partners, like yourselves, we are continuing to drill more bore wells, operate two hospitals in Gidel and in Turale, rebuild churches, schools, and communities. We are there to heal the trauma of war among our youth and our elderly. Our Catholic radio, Radio Voice of Peace, is a broadcasting station which broadcasts emergency messages, local information, and the gospel. Women are learning to run small poultry farms. Men are tilling the soil, planting seeds, and once again raising cattle. What will come, will come. War may come, or war may not come. Still, we move forward with faith in God and with the hope for peace and support of our friends. He who finds a friend finds a treasure. Every day I pray for peace. I tell the people to pray for peace, to live and work for peace. God is with us. He is our Emmanuel. And by His grace, so too are you. You are a gift and a blessing. You are my people's hope, the face of Christ to my poor and persecuted people. May God bless you for your prayers and ongoing support of my Sudan relief. And may the peace of Christ be always with you. I have no adequate words to express my gratitude, but rest assured of my humble prayers, and may God bless you abundantly. Amen.